What's going on guys? So I've got a really interesting question from someone through Instagram DM the other day and it's about starting social media marketing in third world countries and if it's possible and how to ask for uh, retainer fees if you live in third world countries. Now first of all what I do want to say that no matter where you live in the world like social media marketing is possible obviously like so in some countries you need to be a bit more creative or you know uh, the retainers won't be as high as you think but it's all relative so like I, I it's no idea how it came but like for some reason a thousand dollars euro pounds a month is like the standard fee for social media management and uh, like some people do Facebook ads for that rate as well some people don't but like a thousand a month has been like the standard within this industry and but no, like no, no one's actually decided that it just like sort of came about and that is because like um uh, like in like the first world countries like in america uh in, in europe some countries and like the uk and stuff like that like a thousand a month it's it's worth it for the agency and it's not too big of an investment for the companies to actually go with a thousand month retainer fees and like but that doesn't mean that you need to stick to that so for example if you're in india that's where the guy who sent the dm is from and um like you want to start social media marketing there's no, no one saying that you need to do it for a thousand a month obviously a thousand dollars let's just you know stick to dollars because that's like a international currency or like the, the standard currency within this industry um like you don't have to do a thousand dollars a month it's, you know if you're in india you couldn't ask for a retainer fee of like 300 which when you convert it to indian currency that is a lot of money you know but you know there's no reason why you need to do a thousand so what i'll do is i'll start at 300 dollars a month uh, you know because that like i said that is quite a lot of money in india you know just do the same as what you'd normally do for a thousand or what first world countries would do for a thousand you know, do social media management do social media marketing do that in india you know if, if you want to stay local do it for a few companies get a referral get a testimonial you know build up your portfolio and then slowly shift like the international market to first world countries like i said like i've got uh, other than like a few little like um one-off ad clients all of my like, all of the clients that i've got are international you know they're off uh most of them in the us to be honest but like they're all international not a lot of in holland so that you know for me that means that you don't have to necessarily stick to your own country so if you're in india and you've you've slowly built up your portfolio then you can slowly make that shift to uh, first world countries where you can't ask for the retainer fees of a thousand and um you know like because you've got the portfolio it's much easier as well than to go in like straight into a first world country and another thing that uh what was said in the dm which i do understand is that when people hear the indian accent they automatically think freelance or they think okay someone with uh someone that i can get for cheap but what you need to explain there is that you're not the only one on your team you know you need to explain that you're an agency that you're a team you know you're a team of individual professionals or whatever a team of uh, people that i've gotten together a team of millennials and that you as a team will help this company along and that makes it so much easier to explain why you've you've asked for a higher fee than what they normally expect if they get like an indian on the phone or via skype or anything like that so i hope this helps uh, just to bring it all full circle you know if you want to do social media marketing in a third world country start with a rate that you feel comfortable with and that you know will be accepted within your country build up your portfolio get a few testimonials and then slowly make the shift to first world countries from there if you ever get any problems in terms of like accent or stuff like that then explain that it's not just you you're an agency and you have a team around you so hope this helps hope like you've got some kind of value out of this leave a comment down below if you want me to do more of these type of videos where i answer your question to get through dm or like the the question uh, function or feature on instagram like share comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one